Okay, well, most of America is in debt, right? <laughs> Probably about a half of it has debt problems. I mean, uh, I've seen data that most Americans don't even have an extra four hundred dollars if an emergency comes up. So you're stuck with debt, and your credit card debt, or corporations you owe money to. What the hell do you do? Well, of course, the Google's there to help. <laughs> and you're going to search Google and find people they promise you they're going to help and you're going to save money and all that kind of stuff. And, and if they're advertising on Google, you know, remember, they're getting money. I mean, but you have to be careful. Of, you know, it, are these debt counselors getting money that should be going into your pocket? They say maybe it won't cost you anything, but yeah, <laughs> that means they're getting money somewhere else, and that's money that you could have gotten in your pocket. So you want to know everything first that what you can do before you hire one of these people, and if they're legitimate or not. You know, that's the problem, because there's so many or not. There's so many debt scams in this country, it's phenomenal, because people grasp for help, you know, when they're in trouble. So you don't want money going out of people's pockets when it should be going into yours. So what do you do? Okay, first get a little sense of everybody's negotiable. Okay, so the debt you owe, man, you're just a digit. You know, <laughs> these big companies don't care. The credit card companies, they, they're going to write off, you know, umpteen percent of all their money, that uh, all the debt that's owed to them. And they know that. So you're just a digit. But they're going to beat on you as hard as they can. Okay, uh, So, and you take it personally because it's an obligation and all that stuff. So get a little reality check. Find some articles and don't just Google like how to negotiate credit card companies because you get articles of people selling you something in the credit card business and you don't want anything to do with it. So here's one site I like is Nolo, N-O-L-O.com and they have negotiating on credit card debt. Now they tell you the facts. They sell you legal information. It's really lawyer stuff uh, for people who are not lawyers, so like you and I. But they have good stuff on the site, and, that, and that's a really good start. They tell you the possibilities of negotiating it down. Okay? Now, uh, another good uh, article I read was uh, in uh, Huffington Post, how to sell your credit card debt for less money <laughs> in seven steps. Okay, so, uh, and, and it gives you a sense of something, and they're not there to sell some credit card stuff that you certainly have some advertising, but they're not in the credit card business. So that's the one kind of people you want, because otherwise they're too biased into saying, hey, these companies are good, you don't want that. You want to know how to do it without spending any money. So that's the first thing. Now you want to do is get all the free help you can. So maybe say, hey, I don't, I, I don't like negotiating with people. You know, I'm, I'm not good at that. And you're right, sometimes you're not. Okay, get the free help. There's people who get grants to do that for free. One of them is the HUD counselor. So if you go to HUD.gov, H-U-D.G-O-V, and put counselors, you'll see counselors where you live who get grants to help you negotiate that stuff. And there's other people, too, that get government grants. They're all over the country. But this is a good place to start for that. So they'll help you do negotiating. See, now, now you have somebody <laughs> who, who helps you through that system. So that they hold your hand, you know, and, and tell you how to do it or do it for you. Find out how the best ways. That's what you need. Not just you shaking your boots and believing everything you read on the Internet. <laughs> You can't do that. Yeah. And here's another good place to check uh, is consumerfinance.gov. Okay, if you do consumerfinance.gov and, and just uh, put in credit card debt, and you'll see the, uh, the help they have in there. Easy to remember guidelines to help people reduce credit card debt. Okay? Now, these, see the consumer.gov, they're not selling you anything at all. They're telling you straight, that's what's so good about government stuff. Maybe it's not the, the, the sexiest writing or anything like that, uh, but but it's fair, and, and they're not selling you anything. There's another one. I've seen a lot of advertisement for companies that will consolidate my debt. Is that Are they legitimate? Okay, they tell you and analyze that. So that's the kind of information you want. And you want to start now and start doing something, because if you do something, you're just going to wind up in further trouble. Why do it now? If, if, now, what I did is put together every source. There's about 100 sources in the government to help you pay off debt, help you get a uh, counseling service, and how to, how to uh, pinpoint scams and things like that. So that's what my new debt book is about. Uh, and if you go to www.free.lesco.com slash debt free, it'll show you all the programs there and the links and 
how to apply and lots of videos there, uh, video instructions for all that. I'm sorry, I'm moving this around because I thought maybe there's another thing there, but <laughs> it's not. But no matter what you do, use me, you just use the other one, make sure you use the free stuff first. Don't just go to Google, find the first sweetest smile and, 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 and throw them money because they promise you everything. No, everybody promises you everything. You can't do that. So you, you want to learn the system first, and you'll get stronger and stronger every time you make uh, a decision of handling the free things first, because then you learn a little more. Your, 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 your big problem now is the unknown. So the more you talk to these people, particularly people are not selling you something. You, you talk to people selling you something, they have that motive. I need to get money from you. I need to get money from you. I need to get money from you. <laughs> and that's not a fair conversation. You need to get information. So do all these free things first. That's the end.